I do believe that there is value in looking ahead to future transportation methods. <coughs> we cannot continue to do business the way we currently are. We have bottlenecks, we have pollution, we have too many cars on the road. With that being said, I've seen the connection between light rail and hard rail and other depots such as boat, bus depots and car depots work well in other cities and in other countries. And that is the plan we need. It needs to be a master plan. With the current plans to date, I am not seeing that master plan. The question is whether or not we do or do not need a streetcar. It's whether or not we have the right plan in place and we have the money to afford a streetcar. Currently, we have a capital maintenance backlog for just parks and facilities of $50 million. We need to take care of what we currently have. That may or may not mean bringing a streetcar in, but we need to make sure it's at the right time, for the right reason, with the right plan. Well, we certainly need good transit in the uh, Columbia Pike corridors. We do elsewhere. The more we can get people out of their private cars <coughs> and into the public transit, the better off we're going to be and so will the global planet. Um, there has just been a big increase in the cost of that project, and I think one of the things we really need to do is take another look at it and review the cost-benefit analysis, because although we need transit, exactly what kind of transit, I'm not sure. Any question that you approach, you really have to look at what benefit, for whom, at what cost. Can we afford it? I'm not sure at this point. I do know that there is a lot of concern in the community, and any time you could do a project of this size and scope, both for the cost and then think of the disruption that's going to happen along Columbia Pike as we build that streetcar, we need to make sure the community agrees that this is a good thing to do. So I think no matter what we decide, we have to make sure that we work with the community. I'd expect everybody to agree, but we need to make sure people are on board because these are the folks we serve and the folks that are going to pay for it. So I think we need a lot more community engagement and a good cost-benefit analysis before we can really truly answer that question. We need to expand our transit network in multiple corridors throughout the county. I certainly support that as a former member of the Transportation Commission and as a member of the Planning Commission. It has a business uh, development economic impact, and it's fair in that it also helps people who don't have cars, for example, people of lower <coughs> economic means, for example, to get around and to participate in our community. At the same time, we need to maximize the return that we get on our investment. There's been a lot of talk about putting a streetcar with rails down a Columbia Pike. I haven't seen the analysis to support that the ridership is there now or in the future under the foreign based code. Okay? And I've also heard that we'll still have buses running there because ultimately the streetcar stays on the rails. What I'm not convinced of basically is the mode. Other cities use what they call trolley buses or hybrid electric vehicles, for example, that can go off of the pike in this case and along other roads so that you don't have to make transfers and what have you. We need to look at what these other technologies are and get the best value and not necessarily assume that anything less than a streetcar is not world class. Arlington is world class. Whatever we do will be. Thank you. I support the Columbia Pike streetcar because it is really good for the environment, and it's really good at moving many more people to their destinations, and it will do so more affordably um, once it is in place. Arlington has a long history and tradition of investing significantly in transit infrastructure and being rewarded for it. We've seen it in Metro, we've seen it in, in other projects we've done, and there's no reason to believe that this won't be equally successful for residents of South Arlington. It's often called the Columbia Pike Streetcar, but this is actually part of a regional vision. The streetcar would connect residents from Fairfax and Skyline through Columbia Pike and down into Crystal City, Potomac Yard, and Alexandria. It's another one of our innovative, long-term thinking, regional vision for transportation and transit, and I support it. At this time, I can't necessarily say whether I am for or against the Columbia Pike Streetcar. But I do have to say that it disturbs me that over the past 18 months, the uh, estimated costs have ballooned to $262 million, which is about $52 million per, per mile. Um, I believe in the vision of the streetcar, but until we see a cost-benefit analysis to determine if one of this is the right route or um, how we're going to move forward with the project, um, I cannot make an actual stance on whether or not the trolley as designed and as uh, projected the cost um, is a good thing for the county. 